Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the Bolt Hairspring, Ivan here. It's been a while since I did a G-Shock video, so that's exactly what I'm going to do today. We'll be having a look at the Casio G-Shock GST B400, which is part of the extremely popular G-Steel collection. This new model looks amazing in person and it happens to be the slimmest G-Steel G-Shock to date. It is available with a stainless steel bracelet or with a resin rubber band. And I'll show you both throughout this first impressions review. So let's jump into it. If you need to buy these or any other Casio, Citizen or Seiko watches, then guys check out relojeriaesparza.com who are an authorized dealer of these brands. Besides constantly lending me watches to review here on the channel, they are offering a special discount to all of my viewers. All you need to do is send them a message via the contact info below, tell them I send you and they will give you the best deal they possibly can. Alright guys, you know the procedure, the first thing I'm going to discuss are the dimensions. The case diameter is about 49mm at its widest, but if you measure it diagonally excluding the buttons, then it comes at about 44mm, and that's exactly how the watch wears. As I said at the beginning, the GST B400 is the slimmest G-Steel model that Casio has released so far, and that is a big deal as it will appeal to more people. It is just 12.9mm thick, and that is a whole millimeter and a half less than my GST B200. It may not sound a lot, but trust me, on the rest it makes for a big difference when compared to its predecessors. On my 17cm or 6.7 inch wrist, this watch wears and looks amazing. It's really really comfortable. The short lug to lug of 46.6mm or so definitely helps in that regard. It's also quite light. The total weight of this model unsized comes at about 160 grams, and that's pretty acceptable for a steel watch. The same model with the resin rubber band is even lighter. I didn't weigh it myself, but according to Casio's website, it weighs just 80 grams. To be honest guys, in this particular case, I prefer the resin band over the bracelet, simply because it adds some nice contrast to the overall look of the watch. Now let's make a quick comparison between the GST B400 and my GST B200 that I've had for a while now. At a first glance they look very similar in size, and that's because they have about the same case diameter. Look carefully though, and you will see that the lug to lug of the B400 is way shorter, making the wearability great for people with even smaller wrists than mine. And once again, the slim profile of 12.9mm makes the watch very versatile and cuff compatible, which is great for those like me who enjoy wearing their metal G-Shocks with both sportwear and formal attire. When it comes to the design, the GST B400 resembles the GST B100 in the bezel and the turbine inspired subdial at 9 o'clock, but then the case is quite different. As you can see, it's much more angular and that gives the watch a very cool, tough and aggressive look. Personally speaking, I'm quite pleased with what Casio has done with this model and I do think that it looks much better than the GST B300. The build quality as expected is fantastic and the finishing is great as well. The case is mostly brushed, but you do get some high polished bevels on the bezel and the case. The only area of improvement is definitely the clasp of the bracelet, it's made of pressed metal and therefore it feels a little bit cheap. Other than that, no complaints really, the watch features the carbon core guard for improved shock resistance and just like most other G-Shocks, the water resistance is rated at 200 meters. Moving on, let's check the dial. Interestingly, it looks cleaner and less cluttered than the GST B100 and B300, and that's because two of the sub-dials are actually two small negative displays that blend in with the dial better than if they were physical, and because these displays are in charge of giving you all sorts of information such as the date and the running seconds, there is no date window and no seconds hand. My favorite part here is definitely the 3D looking hour markers, as they give a lot of depth to the dial. The legibility is also pretty good, even the negative display sub-dials are plenty legible as long as the hands don't cover them. As far as the functionality goes, this G-Shock has all the familiar features such as world time, stopwatch, countdown timer, multiple alarms and Bluetooth connectivity. The module inside is solar powered, so as long as you occasionally expose the watch to some light, you can use all the features as much as you want without having to worry about the battery. 
So guys, for the money, this GST B400 is what I consider a complete package, as it looks fantastic, it wears great, it has plenty of features, but it's not crazy expensive. In Spain, it retails for 399 euro on the bracelet, or 319 with the resin band, but with G-Shock you almost never pay retail. In fact, at the moment of recording this video, relojeriaesparza.com has them listed with 15% off, but remember that if you contact them prior to purchasing, they will adjust the price for you even more. As you can tell, my first impressions of these two are very positive. This new G-Steel is definitely something that as a G-Shock fan I would wear. The previous model, the B300, didn't impress me at all, but with this one Casio has done a much better job and I'm sure that they will sell many of these. Right now the other color variants are not available in Europe yet, which is a real shame as the all black coated model with the blue dial looks stunning and I'm really looking forward to seeing it in person. I also expect Casio to release some special and limited editions of this model, so keep your eyes open in case you're interested in getting one. And that's the end of today's video guys, let me know what you think about the GST B400 in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and thank you for subscribing to my channel, I really appreciate it and it really motivates me to continue making more videos for you. In the next few days I'll be showing you some titanium citizen dive watches and I've purchased a Casio MRG which I'll also review in a couple of weeks, so hit that bell icon to turn the notifications on. As always, take care and I'll see you in the next one.